Neat. I've always wanted to try one of these on the compost. Oh, hi, Stellar. I hope your back's feeling better. They just finished treating me, and it is starting to feel better. However, I was told to lay off rescuing people for a while, especially you. So, did you have any luck? I got some information from the sample I ran through the DNA sequencer. When I tried it, all I got was a name. All it said after that was that the file is closed. I wonder why that is. I don't know for sure, Roger, but it seems a bit suspicious. When a file is marked like that, there's usually a very good reason. Most frequently, it indicates the file is closed for intelligence purposes, or it's legally sealed by some judicial body. In the case of those tubs of guts that grabbed you, I'd have to say it's not a government agency directly behind it. it sounds more like someone with access from the outside to a friend or two inside. A more paranoid person might say this smells way wrong. Then again, when did you last change your socks? If the files are sealed, then we have nothing to go on. True. The only thing I can think of is that they may be accessible by jacking into cyberspace. I've never done it, but I know it can be done. So I guess this means you won't be trying it first. Uh, I mean, I I'd love to try it, but I can't since uh, we don't know how. Well, actually, I read it can be done with the help of a cyber jack and headset and a cyberspace jack interface module. The article said there are several things to access out there and that there's a vast library of files to browse. It said that the Information Superhighway Project is a little behind schedule, but that there are some operative areas. Other than that, I don't have a clue as to how we can gain any information about them. So you think this cyberspace thing could work? Well, I can only tell you what I've read. Navigating it takes a little patience, but I think it's the only option you have. I don't know if you'll locate a cyberjack and headset. Because of the delays in the project, they've become more like collector's items than marketable, functionable products. We do have cyberjack modules built into the compost. That's true. Of course, we won't know anyway without the jack. That bites. I wonder where we could find one of those. I wish I knew, Roger. There must be some place. Attention! We are now orbiting the Delta Berxelon 5 colony as requested by Starcon. Most of you know your assignments as they have been broadcast to your composts. Please represent Starcon properly. Kilbasa, out. You better get moving since you don't know yet what your assignment is. I have some checking around to do. We'll talk later. Thanks, Stellar. I'll see you soon. Maybe we can work in that uh, dinner. That mop is a piece of your history. You would no sooner carry it around than you would your cigar butt. Holy cow! It's your Golden Mop Award for your feats of daring do in Space Quest One. Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is.
Wilco, Commander Kilbasa here. I have a special assignment for you. A crew person of special skills is required on Delta Berxelon V. In the spirit of Starcon cooperation, we have decided to offer them your assistance. Transport there immediately. Kilbasa out. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Energize! Commander Kielbasa and that other guy look like they're just finishing up a conversation. Janitor Wilco, Dr. Bellows and I were just talking about you. Please report to Sharpay's quarters, Janitor Wilco. She is in need of someone with your special skill set. Be quick about it. Yes, sir. Janitor second class, Roger Wilco, reporting as ordered, ma'am. Wilco, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Wilco, I expected you here some time ago. I've been kept waiting for minutes now. I'm very sorry, Matt. Ugh. Save the pathetic whimperings for your Starcon superiors. Which I would expect includes everyone and everything on the food chain over there. Ma'am, I came as... Young man, I lack the time, and most importantly, the patience to indulge you as you wind your way from one excuse to the next. May we please just begin? Sorry, but I wasn't briefed on what tasks would be required of me. You are a janitor, Mr. Wilco. What do you think I want from you, a heart transplant? <sighs> what has become of Starcon? When my fifth husband, Admiral Bluntthang, served, the crop of up-and-coming cadets seemed to have such promise. Ah, I recall this one rather striking cadet. Oh, oh. well, never mind that. But you... I pray you do not typify what might be slithering down the halls of our formerly prestigious academy. That is one thing I do not look forward to witnessing. Get to work, Mr. Wilco. You'll find a mop and a bucket right over there. I have no time to devote to your education. That would take a lifetime, and the most copious amount of patience a universe could muster. My life is soon to expire. Please, just clean. I must rest now. Mr. Wilco, please rattle the handle on that commode. It is positively maddening. You got it, Toot. Um, uh, I mean, right away, ma'am. Whatever I can do. Please do it. And quietly. 
I must have my rest. Mr. Wilco, it is time for me to take my meds. Please, fetch my trisonic sortium from the medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Maybe I can get this old hag to overdose. What was that, janitor? Uh, nothing, ma'am. Uh, I'll get those for you right away. I can't find her medicine. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Hey, what the... While we await a fully formed thought from Roger, it should be mentioned that there seems to be some sort of gas entering the room through the left vent. Hey, there seems to be some sort of gas entering the room through the left vent. I seem to be in a world of deep... Ah, jeez, the door! That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Move it! Rats, it won't budge. I've got to get out of here somehow. No windows, and the walls are solid bulkhead, and I'm too big to flush myself out of here. This is the only way. What would MacGyver do now? You give the piston a yank, and sure enough, it comes loose in your hands. Perhaps it was your raw strength. More than likely, it was defective. Good thinking! Wedged in the door, the manual override control causes the piston to strain against the door. It pushes a few inches and seems to strain at that point. Oh, hi, Stellar. What are you doing here? There's no time to talk, Roger. We've got to get out of here now! One... Two... Three! Just as you crash to the floor of the turbo shaft, the hydro riser piston gives way, and the door slams shut, with Stellar still trapped inside. You claw and pull at the seams of the bulkhead door, but to no avail. Just then, you hear and feel an explosion which seems to have come from behind the door. The door is sealed tight. You can hear no other noise after the ear ringing from the blast subsides. My God, I, I can't believe this. It can't be happening. She was... Uh, I was... Stella! It's hard to believe that this is the Hollow Suite. The setting is much like the graphics you've scanned in the library from those planets more interesting in their climatic diversity. From the scenic jutting peaks, soft hills, and lake in the conjured distance to the lush, pixelized growth of trees, flowers, and grass in the foreground, the hollow deck has that sublime, park-like perfection. Unfortunately, its serene beauty is sadly negated by the headstones and the solemn event about to occur, the laying to rest of your rescuer and true friend, Stellar Santiago. You are feeling as you have never felt before perhaps helped along by the relatively short stints aboard the various ships, as well as all too brief friendships, you've been spared the emotional devastation of true loss by lack of attachment. This, however, is a different feeling, far different from anything you've ever experienced. You can't help but wonder how you'd act towards Stellar given a second chance, 
but you know that can never happen. She gave her life for you, and you will never be able to thank her. Enough smarm already. Let's funeral! Ladies and or gentlemen, we assemble here today to honor the memory of a former crewmate, Lieutenant First Class Stella Santiago. Her unfortunate death takes place in the shadow of a new community, the dawning of a new life for the aged of our galaxy. Although death is never easy to accept, we must remember that the tragic accident which took her from our midst occurred while she was on duty. If a member of Starcon must perish for some reason, there is no more honorable way. It is part of the oath we recite and take to heart when we pledge our allegiance. I believe her friend, Janitor Second Class Roger Wilco, has a few words he'd like to say. Mr. Wilco? It would appear that merging the... Uh... I only knew Stellar for a short time. I wish I... Uh, could have gotten to know her much, uh, much, uh, better. To have had a deeper understanding of this, uh, person. I, I was proud to have called friend. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered in my cleaning, hers were the most sc scuff-resistant. These are the holodeck programming controls. Those buttons seem to be self-explanatory. I wonder what they do. Welcome to Hollow Suite Program 5551212, The Vulgar Nerve Pinch. Despite our reputation for being pacifist, 
we vulgars have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique used mainly for defensive purposes. It is called the vulgar nerve pinch. This is a tactile oral maneuver in which the applier pinches the bundle of nerve fibers at the base of the neck while whispering into the victim's ear dialogue from either Tango and Cash or Hudson Hawk. This particular combination of nerve stimuli and loss of cerebral control due to the torturous mantra of movie dialogue results in a searing flash of pain and then unconsciousness. In effect, it is similar to a temporary orally induced robotomy. Victims are soon rendered unconscious for several hours. When they awaken, they will remember nothing of how they came to be unconscious, if they are extremely lucky. I shall demonstrate on my most eager volunteer. You will please to pay attention. Address the subject in this manner. Please to notice the location of my hand as I begin the narcotic chant of cinematic morphine. He mutters something thankfully unintelligible into the ear of the volunteer. Oh, thank you, sir. Maybe you can affect me up with your sister. I have told you after her and you're like, oh, we're going to have margaritas together. Oh, the two of us get oh, oh, oh. We have fun. Oh, get the hubba hubba going in the wee. And I just to like that with ho, ho, ho. So, as you can see, it is very effective. If you can apply a proper grip to the neck, it will disable 9 out of 10 neck-bearing species. This completes our program. Think of it. Don't pick at it. You've long since used up all the matches in this book. The cover is lying around as a souvenir. Feels clean for once. Feels clean for... Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Roger, help me. I only have a moment. They faked. Stellar, what happened? The picture's gone. You're alive? Commander Kilbasa, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I've just received a distress message on my compost. And it was from Stellar. Wilco, have you been whiffing cleaning fluid again? I'm absolutely as sane as I've ever been. She's being held on Delta Berxilon by Sharpay. Wilco, do you realize how irrational that sounds? We buried Stellar. You were there. Maybe you need a rest. Take a couple of hours off. Sir? Wilco, we have our orders from Starcon and we'll be carrying them out. Drop it, Janitor. Leave the bridge now, Wilco. I've made my decision. Compost, heal! It doesn't respond. It's not voice activated. Maybe sometime in the distant future.
Hello, Roger. Please join me in consuming something. Thanks, Sydney. You seem uptight. Say what? Upright? What are you talking about, Sydney? Uptight was the word. Perhaps that is too archaic a reference for you. It would have been more effective to say that you seem concerned. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I do have a thing or two. Uh, well, at least something on my mind. I am sorry to hear this. I hope your concerns are soon alleviated. Thanks, Sid. I do have to come up with some solutions. Sydney, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Flame away, Roger. You know I'd give you my right appendage if you needed it. Funny you should say that, Sydney. I kind of have this situation where that very item could come in handy. Really? Well, I was merely saying that uh, metaphorically. You really are a great friend, Sydney. That'll come in real handy. I can't thank you enough, Sydney. Well, if you really are seriously in need of it, I suppose I could lend it to you. You will get it right back to me, won't you, Roger? Oh, yeah. You bet your nut flanges, Sydney. Sydney, I kind of need another favor. I need one of your eyes. Pardon me, Roger. For a second, I thought you said you also wanted one of my eyes. I must have my auditory circuits diagnosed. Well, actually, Sydney, I, I could use one of your eyes. Are you certain, Roger? Well, I guess if you really need it. Oh, I do. I really do, Sydney. You're a mechanized lifesaver. You will return them soon, right, Roger? Oh, uh, of course, Sydney. Real soon. Listen, I've got a couple of things I've got to attend to. I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, Sydney. As long as you say it will be soon, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, see you soon, Sydney. ignores you. What did you expect him to do? He helped you and it's time for you to move along. We have adventuring to do. You drool in that...
boy, I got you with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. Now you can't get a while. I got you now that you've got a hard to believe this is a real job. To win. Oh, my God. So how come you're not going down? I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chubby. Oh, boy. I, uh, I, if I only could, I would. Jeez, if you why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this. And, uh, mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. Oh. Enjoy, Mr. Wilco. Oh, the cushy life will be a vague memory after you are sent to one of the labor camps on Daventry 8. Careful, combining those items might cause a rip in the... Now it has some cool ears. In this galaxy, in this galaxy, the rack of a rat adds a nice touch. In this galaxy, nothing, nothing, nothing. In this ga in this galaxy, in this galaxy, nothing, in this Nothing hap in this galaxy. Nothing hap. Careful. An interesting idea. Something starting to take shape. What are you up to, Roger? Careful. Careful. Nothing happened. A touchment of that adds something more to your work in progress. Nothing ha- Nothing ha- In this- How creative. That's a nice touch. Not now. Dorf is looking. What are you, plastic man? You can't possibly... Nice! Nice! Oh, I see you have a visitor. I'll leave you two alone, but you know the rules. Ten more minutes and they have to leave. Yikes, it's a good thing Dorf's so vain about wearing his prescribed much thicker glasses. That was too close. I nearly dampened an undergarment. <laughs> Golly, this food looks so good it might be worth becoming a prisoner for. <laughs> yeah, like I'd sure want to be in your position. Not! Nice work. Sometimes you actually surprise me. 
You don't need... Good thinking! Gotcha with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. No, you can't get away. I gotcha now that you've got a car to believe this is a real job. Oh my god. Oh. So, how come you're not going down? I gotcha with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chubby. Oh boy. I, I, if I only could, I would. Jeez. If, why don't you step outside, pal? I gotcha with this. And I, mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. Smooth move! You've got his keyring! No amount of brute strength can pry these doors apart, even if you had some. This might be the one. It looks familiar. Unfortunately, it's locked. Excellent guess, Kreska. The shuttle's alarm is now deactivated. That's delight. Don't pick at it. The power is not.
Don't touch that. Well, I g Well. You summon the ability. It feels slightly... You summon... As cool as it It's the rec it Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Let's see if this sucker works. Here's your fish! Janitor Wilco, what are you doing? You have no authorization to take that shuttle. To make matters worse, you have launched into the middle of a super double reverse anti-anomaly. You will turn that ship around immediately and head back to the shuttle bay. Do you understand, Wilco? Bite me, Commander. What was that last transmission, Wilco? Uh, we're, um...
having a little problem with the signal, sir. I mean, uh, with all due respect, sir, I did plead with you not to leave Stellar behind. Sir, I sense that something's just not right with that community. I don't believe Stellar is dead, and I just can't leave her there. I'm going to do this, sir, regardless of the consequences. Stellar saved my life not once, but twice. I owe her. Well, that was her own stupid mistake. I demand that you return at once, Wilco. If you do so and surrender now, your record will be taken into consideration during your disciplinary hearing. Oh, that'll help you loads. I'm sorry, sir, but I just can't. I have to do this. Wilco, you fool! Just then, the shut. The power is not currently on. Swell. There's not enough power to restart the engines. You pull the handle and hear something release on the outside of the shuttle. Don't... That would... There's nobody in the... It feels nice. This circuit board is not user serviceable. You don't... Oh, great. The data quarter seems to be fried. It would appear that merging those two I as boy wouldn't it be as cool as it would be to interface the excellent guess the compartment crystal has been glued already you pour glue all over the crystal You hold the glue-coated segment to the broken devalium crystal for ten seconds to set the glue. Swell. The emergency oxygen tank is not removable, nor can you activate it by hand. It's patched directly into the shuttle door sound effects matrix.
don't pick at... Don't touch... You neatly replace the... The trunk is empty. You summon the... Sweetheart, you look like you could use a little assistance. Is there anything I can do? Well, yes, there is. Thanks for stopping. Well, you should just name it, I guess. It seems I've stalled my engines. Could you give me a jump? I, I have cables. I'd jump you in a heartbeat, dollface. I guess you must have got caught up in that anti-anomaly. It can be a real pain in the... Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get it done. Well, here's your end of the cables. I'll let you know when I'm all hooked up. Contact! It's the recall notice for the owner's manual. It reads, Dear Ham Shuttle Owner. Okay, Manuel. We're all hooked up. Give it a try. Bye-bye, sugar bunny. I gotta be running along. Hey, thanks for stopping to help me. See ya.
You neatly replace the EVA suit in its proper place. That wouldn't... Good work, sir. I believe I can now follow the Ion Trail of Deep Ship 86 back to Delta Berxalon 5. What may I do for you, sir? It wouldn't be proof. Wow, a mad scientist working on a planet called Delta Berxalon. You wonder what he's doing here? Designing women, perhaps? Sorry. Hello, Doctor. Janitor Wilco? What in blazes are you doing here? Well, Doc, I got a distress call. So why are you here? Because I know it originated here. In fact, it was from Stellar Santiago. You're out of your mind, Wilco. Now go away and leave me alone. I've got important work to do. Goodbye. I... I know something's up here, Doc. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. You'll be sorry, pal. Yes, whatever you say, Wilco. Just get out of my face. You have no use for that. You have no use for that. It feels slightly gritty. You take possession of the Callahan mo It's just boring, techy stuff. You try to rust. You press the lab B button, but the ascendo pad doesn't move. So it won't open. I didn't want to go to lab B anyway. Sir, I believe I may be able to tap myself into the PTS and perform a limited set of functions. PTS? Yes, sir. PTS, the Phototriangulation System. 
It was installed as a crude backup navigational device to the modern navigational computer system. It's what you see before you mount it in the middle view screen. You peel apart the photo and negative from your first PTS image. You peel apart the photo and negative from the second PTS image. Nothing happened. In this galaxy, nothing happened. The PTS is online and working. We can now launch to polysorbate. The shuttle. Your whimper is. Manual tosses you a transport signaler. You can only use this from the place I beam you to. Hello there, Mr. Blatz. I think I have something you might be interested in. Think so, hey? Oh, I really think you'll find it interesting. Ooh! Why, I'd love to take that off your hands. Of course, you realize that it's illegal to sell those, but I could trade you for some. Look around and see what interests you. I could really use a cyberspace jack. Tell you what, I'll trade you for one of those fine specimens in the case. What do you say? No, I want the jack or it's no deal. Oh, now take it easy, Sonny. I think we can do business. I'm glad you see it my way. It's been a pleasure. 
Take care, Fester. I gotta fly. What may I do for you, sir? <laughs>